Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we slayed the last giants. Easy sauce. Really easy. In this episode, we're going to explore all the different things we've unlocked, or that we can unlock, with that key we were given. First off, we're going to have to cross this, so just wipe these guys out again. And make sure this guy doesn't stab you in the back when you try to go open the door. Oh! I was really worried I rolled off for a moment there. I'd like to see how far I can get without dying. He says, knowing full well that saying that out loud damned him. Give this a little, little peek see over here. There isn't much reason to come over here minus this single treasure chest. Always whack your treasure chests. Safety's sake. And grab a ring of restoration and a torch. The ring of restoration is actually pretty solid, so I'm going to put it on right now. Because I have no other rings. Okay, now right around here, let's take a left. Actually, let me show you what's in here really quick because you're going to wonder why I skipped it. Come up here, there's an empty courtyard full of bloodstains, which you will not understand, and a black door that requires you to produce the symbol of the king, which we cannot yet do. So don't go that way because you'll be wasting your time. Now cross back over. And right in here, we have a second one of those doors. First, I'm going to kill this guy, because I just have a bad feeling about him. You know, he's just sitting there. It looks like he's praying. He's probably praying to his war gods before he comes and murders us, you know? May they bless us. All right, so there's a lot of enemies on this route. And for... Honestly, you don't have to come this way. It's decent for farming souls, but there's, like... There's no discernible reason to come this way. Unless you really like fighting the turtle knights, because there is a lot of them. Especially if you like fighting two of them at a time. But they're pretty easy and predictable, just, you know, attack, roll, attack, roll. Make sure you roll away or out of the way of whatever attack they're doing. Don't roll back if they're doing a backswing. You know, simple stuff like that. Stuff that means you're not an idiot, you know? That's important, non-idiot stuff. There's a small sign here. I could summon someone if I wanted to, but I don't see much of a reason. And I haven't yet. Summoning in this game is fun, and of course I recommend it if you ever have any trouble with an area. But I myself just, I just don't do it. It is a good time. I should do it, especially because I've already beaten the game. I might as well just enjoy it, but instead I torment myself by soloing everything, crying myself to sleep every night, because I have no friends, and then I realize that it's my fault. I'm the reason I don't have friends. I'm the worst. Anyway. Kill those things, get more torches. You can use a torch in here, but look, it's so bright. This game would have been so much better with a dark engine of uh, dark lighting engine, right? Come on. Missed opportunity. Could have been really cool. Come on out here. And guess what? You got more turtle knights. And an archer. Who's a real prick. Open this up. Oh, look! Confined space. See, that's why you don't roll forward into that. Is there another one behind me? Thought I heard another one. I, I keep hearing another one, and I'm afraid I'm about to get, like blown up from behind. I'm being awful careful with these guys. So it's taking a little longer. Sorry about that. I'll try and uh, expedite the situation. Hey, you hear that? I think he's up. I think he's upstairs, guys. Duo ahead. Hello. Oh, I saw the other one. I saw his weapon poke out. Hello? Yeah, you go ahead. Swing. It'll work. I promise. I promise you'll get me. Ha! Lied. Die boxes. Sorry, snake. And pick yourself the bastard sword. It's actually a really solid weapon. I, I, I can't say I don't recommend it. It's a good weapon. See, you can be buffed. All that fun stuff. I have all these souls. I've come to realize. So let's let's not perish out here. I would like to spend these. <laughs> How did I? Why am? Why don't I spend souls when I do a tutorial? I don't understand. I feel like it takes time, maybe. Don't do what I do. If you have a if you have a mass of souls, go back to Majula. Go spend it. I'm a bad influence. 
showing you where to get stuff. I'm bad at the how. Chop that guy down. Like I said, turtle knights are just... They litter this place. There's... What are you... Hello? Dad? Dad, is that you? Oh, no, it's not Dad. Or it could be Dad if, it's, if, we're, if we're going with a darker storyline here. It could definitely be Dad. Not the belt again! What he affectionately calls his hammer, the belt. And done. Done and done. Fire longsword. Stupid good. Okay. Now there. <laughs> Hello. What are you? What are you doing down there, little guy? Hey, little guy. If I was a more daring man, I would jump this. Guess what? Nope. Change my mind. There's the ladder that we ignored. Obviously, there's no real reason to take it. We can just go back down the way we came if we want to be safe and not get shot with arrows. Which I would hope none of you want to get shot with arrows. But then again, I don't know. You could be into that sort of thing. Go okay, give this a run. Let's fight this guy. Hello! Whoa! Well, there's a dude right there. The more you know. Knowing's half the battle. G.I. Joe! Where's this door go? Probably the same place I was. Roll! Roll! Mistakes were made! Oh no! Oh no. Things are escalating. Ah! Ah! Climb the ladder! Climb the ladder! Yes, follow me. Follow me so I may beat you. Since your turtley friends can't follow. Okay. Let's check. We got an... Oh, black fire bombs coming for you. Let's follow you. Let's use those. I use items. Nobody else does that. I certainly usually don't, but... You guys inspire me, you know? Alright, I gotta take care of the archer. What's up, bitch? Ow. Hey. Bitch. 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 That's not even worth a life, Jim. That's how little life I lost. That's how weak you are. So, where do the turtles go? <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Right here we have a bonfire. So, enjoy that. It won't come into use until... 90% of the game is through, and even then, it's, like, not that useful. It's very strange that there's a bonfire here. Go ahead and pop this open. Get the hunter's set, including the sweet hat. The sweet hat is indeed awesome. Um, I... I'm, uh... A little worried. Where in God's name did the turtle knights go? Go ahead and run right here. Grab some useful consumables. Look up this pit and realize that there's no reason for this to be here. And we're just gonna for you know what? Turtle guys never they were never there. They were never there. You know what? That's my that's my decision. It's it is now canon that those turtle knights aren't real. Right in here we got another one of these. A giant rest in peace. That's all we get. That's that's all it says. There's nothing here. There's nothing for us, oddly enough. That tree right there actually has some additional use. When you are invaded, there is a chance for that tree to spawn a seed, a seed of a giant or something like that. It's something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll write it up. And that item makes it so when you are invaded, you can s basically set it so the person that invades you also gets attacked by NPCs. And that's a good time. That's hilarious, especially if they aren't ready for it. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to head back this way towards the giant sword, which we fought a couple guys on. Because we have one more door to open up with the soldier's key. One more door with one more enemy behind it. These guys are, Ow, I hate spears! I hate you! Ow! Stop being such a prick! How? How can you block everything? How can she slap? Glug. I'm gonna die to one of these guys and lose all these souls, and you guys are gonna laugh at me. <laughs> die! Okay. Wow. His shield wanted some camera time, so it jumped in my screen. Okay. Pop this open. Let's go for a stroll. Right in here, another one of my favorite enemies. I mean, I've, I've talked so much about them. They must be my favorite, otherwise I wouldn't, I wouldn't give them so much time, you know? Halberd right here, he has no shield, which means I can beat him to death, and he has nothing to do. Oh, look! Free Halberd! Halberd! Halbred! I love bread. 
Bread is a good creation of man. Um, any, any, uh, anyway, come up here and grab yourself a soul of a nameless soldier and a life gem. Listen to that coast. Oh my god, it sounds amazing. And then come right here. No, I'm not summoning you, no smelter zone. And through here, we have a boss. I have 17,000 souls, which at this point in the game is a lot of souls. So I'm going to do myself a favor and not die. Oh god, my sword's about to break. That will be really bad. Shit. Well, for better or for worse, once again we see the pursuer. Some of the coolest enemy design on this guy. I think he is just bitchin'. I want the DLC to be nothing but pursuer battles in different locations. Okay, so we are in a bad spot with this broken weapon. But I think, or breaking weapon, it's not broken yet. I know how to beat this guy. I can handle this. Every time he does a three-part strike, moving for a hit. Every time he does this, move to the right. His circling right is essentially his kryptonite. I don't have a shield. I don't need a shield. If he does that spin, he is going to get some good range on his attack, so make sure you move. You don't even have to do anything for that. Just turn to the right. He really is a pushover if you know where to stand and how to avoid his attacks. Oh, shit. It's at risk. Okay. Oh! Um, oh, God, God damn it. I have to switch weapons. I'm bad at this on the fly. That's the wrong sword. That's a shitty sword. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's not use, let's not use a resin at this point. Uh, uh, wow, that's shitty. Holy crap. All right. Quick boss notes while I panic. Um, you can kill this boss with the blisters in the area. I don't recommend doing that alone. Ha! Now you lose. I got my other good sword. Ugh, okay. Oh, wow, that's actually better than the fire sword. What am I doing with the fire sword? Ugh, give him a couple swacks each time. This guy's... Oh, shit. Okay, I need to heal. Ah! Woo, right out of range. I've gotten pretty good at judging range of ba attacks in this game, but sometimes I really screw up, so I really shouldn't be doing that. I like to stand there and pretend that I'm good, you know? Like, ha, you missed. I knew exactly how far you could reach. Uh, uh. Okay. Ah! No third attack. I don't I don't ever feel safe. Okay, well, he can destroy the blisters, by the way. And the cart, in fact. I'm really glad he did. Huh, sorry. Still a little panicked from this. Oh, shit. I have never seen that attack. What is this? He can stab. He can jab you, so uh, watch out for that. The jab is the jab is dangerous if you don't know it exists. Um, one more note about this boss: do not let him stab you with that blue sword. He will grab you. He will take a lot of your health, and he also gets a he gets a red glow in his eyes, and he gains a new attack, which is a very very powerful wrong side to roll. I got lucky. Um, it's a very powerful magic attack that will seek in on you if you try and use range. So don't get hit by the blue. It's really easy to avoid. Just roll. Don't shield it. It cannot be blocked. It's a grab. A lot of enemies in this game have grabs. Get used to looking at them and get used to getting out of the way. See? Do not get hit by that. It will it will it will hurt you. It will it will make you sad in the pants. Okay. Well, it had a rocky start that made me panic, but I'm pretty used to this boss at this point. Flare! Humanity achieved. All right. From that, we get the Soul of the Pursuer and the Ring of Blades. Put that guy to shame. I don't need a weapon. <laughs> Pass on through this little crack. And over there, we're going to see a third. I called it. That was a mistake. Alas, nothing happened. Man, why did I call it? That's from a totally different thing. <laughs> Before doing anything, make sure that you drop down here and drop down here and grab these items. 
Drang Lake sword and the Drang Lake shield and the Drang Lake armor. This is all really good. So good, in fact, that in the next episode I will probably be using some of it. And then you can drop down here, and you're right back at the bottom of the sword. Don't know how I forgot that, but there it is. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> um, if you come right here to this nest, you can examine it. What does examining the nest do, I wonder? We have been flown in a very, very recognizable Dark Souls 1-ish fashion to the Lost Bastille, where we can find a bonfire. I don't recommend spending a lot of time here, but there are some items we can grab right now that will be useful. So we're going to do a little bit of treasure hunting and then get out of here and back to Majula because I have 33,000 souls! I'm just making more and more mistakes by staying here. Why am I still here? Right here you'll find a royal soldier with a crossbow. He's dead. Oh, you broke my barrel. I was going to do something cool with that barrel. Crap. Um, if you have the barrel, push it off this thing. And it'll, bl it'll blow up the room. Uh, I'm going to have to improvise my own explosive. All right. That'll kill some of the dogs. Usually kills all of them, but this one decided it wanted to be a little asshole. The dogs in this game are harsh, so I don't like them very much. Uh-oh. Okay. Don't let them attack you. You, you good. You, you, you're Gucci. Open up this door. And out here, there's a hole. I don't recommend the hole. The hole is nothing but despair. And then open up this to grab yourself the antiquated key and the covetous silver serpent ring. The key will find a use in not too long. The covetous silver serpent ring will give me additional souls for killing enemies. I'm going to go ahead and put that on because I have nothing better to do. Now let's come on up here and meet this guy. I, I, I call him a sentinel because I mean he's like, you know, he's, he's guarding the bridge. They have a lot of health, which is, you know, you don't want to be here yet, anyway. Ow, I rolled into that! Ah, oh, you idiot. Time your rolls. If you if you don't have a shield, you got to time your rolls against their attack. So you're in the hitbox as little as possible. And you don't die. Get a little drink. I'm, about, I'm out of Estus, but that's okay. We won't be spending much more time here. Um, if you're going to break this stuff, roll it. Don't don't attack it, especially if you're using the fire longsword. That will just that will be embarrassing. And in here we have a character to meet. Oh, who are you? What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. Okay, well I'm gonna continue to pester you because I don't like antisocial people. <laughs> you are an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance when they see this mask. But you, I'm called Lucatil. From the land of Mira to the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. And so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even the rumors did not prepare me. Lucatil is a pretty interesting character. I think she's cool. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people, while you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help you. I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. <laughs> By talking to her, I believe it opens up her summoning sign for a few fights. 
Now, we're not going to go this way very far. I just want to show one last secret. Do not, do not go that way. Do not engage. Walk up this. Make it slow. I don't want to die my first death on this walkthrough on this thing. And climb this ladder. So you grab yourself a couple of extra items. A large Titanite shard, in fact, which is very good. Look at the view. If you have a, a torch, this is kind of cool to light. Honestly, lighting the torch stuff is cool, but it serves nothing more than being cool. And the only way back to the bonfire that I came from, as far as I've... I can't get back to it by foot. I've tried a lot of, a lot of times, a lot of ways. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to homeward bone. I'm going to hearthstone, guys. I'm hearthing. I'm going to use my home rock. Once we've done that, I'm going to head back to Majula and spend this ridiculous amount of souls. So I'll see you there. All right, let's take care of some things in Majula, shall we? First, we have a merchant. She appears to have followed us. Oh, you again? Go on. He's on the cheap for you. <laughs> yeah, she's just kind of creepy, honestly. <laughs> but once you've done that, you can come right here. Unlimited life gems. Yes. Unlimited life gems. Forever. Really good. If you want to buy a million life gems, no one will judge. Actually, I'll kind of judge you. It makes the game Lovely. easy, but still. Shut up. It's not lowly times. And then we're going to come over here. Lenagrast is still outside of his blacksmith. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. He's so... He's so needy. But we'll open his, his blacksmith for him. And then also come in here and turn left and open yourself a treasure chest, which contains a short bow, which I will be using for a while. Archery is useful, very useful. Ah, yes, very good. Now I can get to work. But first, let me set up. Come again later. Thank you, green man. Now, let's go talk to the lovely, lovely Emerald Herald. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. You know, usually I skip that dialogue, but sometimes it is nice to listen to. Alright, now we're going to be leveling up. We got a lot of souls. As you can see, it's only 1,200 for me to level, and I have 35,000. So, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to put 5 in Endurance, because it's really nice to have that. I'm still not 100% sure on what I want to do with this build, but adaptability is very important if I'm not going to run a shield. There is a way to reset your stats, so I'm not too worried. I can. These are not permanent changes for me. And then we will also bump up Strength to 16. And dex to 18, 19? Nah, not 19. And then, because I like good numbers, le actually, I'm going to need this, so I'm going to put int up to 8. 8 is the number I need. You'll know why later. So, that was a big level up. We should have a lot more stamina. Almost as much as we do health. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, one last thing before I take off. I actually, you know what, two last things. I'm going to come in here. Oh, hello again. I'm going to spend 1,000 souls for a Silver Eagle Kite Shield. And not because I'm going to be using it, but because... Thanks very much. Spending 1,000 souls will have him upgrade his inventory. So next time we come back, I can show you his new inventory. Using the key we got from Kale, we can open up this door. And here you'll find the biggest book in all of Bookland. Like, wow, that's a big book with very blurry text. And you can also grab a Pharaoh's Lockstone, which there are many uses for. You will end up having more Pharaoh's Lockstones than you need, but right now, right now you'll be fine. Coming this way. We hear noises to the right outside. That is the pigs. Ignore the pigs. Let's go ahead and walk upstairs in the mansion first. This place is burned down and very interesting. It seems to be like a, like a trash can for the things that no one needs in this place. Someone, someone, one of the NPCs said that. I really, for the life of me, can't remember what I'm trying to spout knowledge that I don't actually know or can't, I can't cite it. I can't APA format it, so. 
I mean, it's not. I can't even turn it into my professor, so what's the point, right? Kill that uh, shelf of things because it um, insulted me or something. And come down this, and then this way. And then here you'll find a stone map of some kind. And if you're as far as I am, this flame will be lit. Curious, curious. This is not a chest. It will fool me every time I come down here, but it's not a chest. Hello, torch man. That guy has a torch. What a rarity. Now, if you come down here, it gets spooky and it gets scary. You gotta unspook this place post haste. Despook it. Kill the skeleton that is down here. It is actually useful. Grab a human effigy. Come on over here. And this is a unique treasure chest as far as I can tell. I don't think this design for a treasure chest is anywhere else. And get a soul vessel. The soul vessel is what I was talking about. It is an item that lets you reroll your stats. And also get an Estus Flask shard. Big deal. One last thing. The shattered pieces of this thing on the ground should be very familiar to someone who's played Dark Souls 1. And it should raise some interesting questions. It certainly has for me. But I'm not going to get into it because lore is really just... I don't actually know what I'm talking about. I follow it, but I'm, I'm totally not knowledgeable. And I should not spout lore because people get really worked up about it. Don't fall in the hole. Well, with that, that extra Estus flask that I will totally forget to turn in before the next episode and all that other stuff, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you next time. I'm done with you, people.